My family and I went to Chipmunks over the weekend, a New Zealand brand Playland. For four children, it cost us around $54 entry fee. We brought in a cooler bag with some juice poppers, mandarins and some beetroot chips. Of course, we also brought in the children's water bottles. We were there for about one and a half hours when we ordered a pizza from the on-site cafe for like $11. While we were waiting for our pizza, one of the staff members came up to us and told us that we weren't allowed to bring in outside food and drink. To be fair, we only brought in some poppers, fruit and a bag of chips. I can only imagine their reason for not wanting people to bring their own food and drink in is a monetary one. They want people to buy food and coffee from their overpriced cafe. Is it really going to hurt their profit margin if we bring in a bit of fruit and a bag of chips? We ended up spending about $65 in total, including the entry fee and the pizza, and we were made to feel rather embarrassed. Is $65 not enough? I understand that they are a business, but at what cost? We also saw other parents feeding their children bananas and other fruit. Almost every child had their own water bottle. To be consistent, surely chipmunks should not allow people to bring in their own water, because they also sell bottled water. Is fruit okay? Are kids with dietary restrictions allowed to bring in their own food? What is the purpose of their no outside food and drink policy? I know because they're a private company, they can make up their own rules. However, their company gets its entire revenue from the public. Surely common sense should prevail and not their profit at all costs mentality. Does Chipmunk sell mandarins? Does Chipmunk sell tropical fruit juice poppers? Does Chipmunk sell beetroot chips? If not, they're either forcing us to buy food that our children don't want, or forcing them to not eat. Okay, that's a bit of an exaggeration. I think Australian consumer law and common sense would allow us to purchase or not purchase whatever food we choose. By Chipmunk's staff approaching us and enforcing these little rules, we certainly do not wish to return. Was that factored into their profit margin? They should save their rules for obvious breaches. For example, somebody orders 10 pizzas from Domino's and tries to bring that into the centre. It clearly wasn't about safety. The fact that they served other food in the tabled area means that they're not worried about people eating and drinking in the centre. They did have signs up in the play area not to bring in any food or drink. That's fair enough. I can appreciate that rule. Having banana peels or greasy pizza all over the playland floor would certainly be a safety hazard. But that's not what this rule is. Their rule is simply there to stop people from bringing their own food in so that customers are essentially forced to purchase the costlier cafe food. What's worse, we actually did purchase from the cafe and they still had the nerve to approach us and tell us not to bring in our own food. Some of you might be saying, you wouldn't take outside food into a restaurant. And I would agree. That makes sense, because a restaurant's primary business is selling and preparing food. A children's playland's primary purpose, in my opinion, is not to sell food. They're in the business of entertaining children. We paid $54 to enter their facility, which is quite a significant amount. Surely it should be our right to eat, or not eat, what we want. Their cafe is simply a side gig that they obviously want to make some extra money from. If their business model relies on people buying food in the centre, then they've got a broken model. People aren't coming there to eat, they're coming there to play. If parents want to buy a coffee or something, well, that's up to them. But they certainly shouldn't be made to feel bad if they bring in some mandarins and juice for their children. Again, corporate greed tends to rule the roost. On top of all this, while we were there, I asked the manager for the public Wi-Fi password and was told to look on Facebook. Um, Facebook is online. The very fact that I was asking for the Wi-Fi password probably means that I didn't have internet access. By the way, to be fair to Chipmunks, if I haven't been already, the Playland was fairly decent. The children had a really good time. It's a shame about the little food mishap. Chipmunks seem to forget that we are living in the age of social media. If they piss off people too much, we are all too happy to write a review online, or in my case, make a YouTube video. Am I being too harsh? Are customers obliged to obey any rules no matter how much we agree or disagree with them? Are no food policies perfectly in the rights of these businesses? Or has business become so fixated on profit that they've forgotten about their number one asset, their customers?